Hello and welcome back to the New Game Plus. Uh, let me say a quick thanks to everybody that saw my previous video on how to use Jet Streamer. Uh, so far, the reception has been very positive, and I really hope that video helped you guys get your emulator running and um, operating properly. <clears throat> uh, today is not a video about emulators, it's more of a YouTube tutorial because, as you guys know, the dislike button is no longer show in the youtube app or in the browser but you could actually bring that back not on the youtube app but in your iphone browser or ipad browser and i'm going to show you how to do that so the plugin that we use on the computer to see the like and dislike on youtube is created by these people here uh return you to dislike that's what we use on the computer that's how some people are able to see the dislike ratio now is by using this so when you go onto the website all the links are going to be down below in the video description when you get to the website you're going to click on install and it's going to ask you select your platform where you want to install it firefox chrome edge opera or break even though you have one of those apps installed on your ios device none of those will work because it doesn't support um the support to add those uh plugins in there so it's kind of unlimited so it will not work so the only way for you to do this is by doing the user script i'm gonna show you how to do that and how to use that because if you try to uh to do ios as you see down below here you need to have the device job broken in order to do this but we're gonna be use the user script so after everything is installed you're gonna see this so if i go to youtube you notice right here in this particular video i'm watching you could see the likes okay and you could also see the dislike also but now how do we get to that point so you're gonna need you're gonna need two apps well you're gonna need, actually you're gonna need one app to do this and a file the file that we're gonna need is get it from is you get it from here for the user script so this is a file that you're gonna need i already created a file with the same information and uh, i'm gonna put it in my google address so you could download it and use that same file but just in case for anybody skeptical that has something malicious we're gonna do it from here a step by step so the first thing that you're gonna use you gotta go to the app store and you need to download the following app so you gotta look for user script that's the one that you're gonna need user script so you're gonna need this uh this app you're gonna download it and install it so i'm gonna uninstall it right now so i could show you step by step by step how this fully work we go we delete this now that we have it deleted if we go back to the safari browser and i go back to the same youtube video i was watching let me refresh this notice that the dislike ratio is out so it says disable so i can no longer see it so now let me show you how to properly set this up so i'm gonna close this i'm gonna go to the app store we're gonna download user script after you have it downloaded we're gonna open it up and they're gonna ask you here set up a directory that they're gonna be using for this so the files any script that you have this is gonna be the, the place where this is going to find it use a script so let me go back real quick here make sure i had this deleted so it doesn't get on the way so i could show you properly okay perfect i don't have a folder for user script oh i do have one i need to delete these files actually let me move these files so i don't have to delete them copy let me paste it right here outside let me paste them right here paste perfect replace boom so we got this in here so we're gonna delete this folder delete i mean delete the information inside this folder we're gonna delete it yeah delete it and now we're gonna go back to user script so we're gonna cancel so again you're gonna go set up user script directory that folder that you guys saw me that saw that i was in it 
I created a folder for this uh, application. That's what I'm gonna have all my user script so the app could run it for me. So if you don't have a folder, name something that you will remember what it's for. So I just name a user script. So I'm gonna put that folder back in here again. If I can find it. Oh, that's why I can find this. It's under my iCloud. It has to be under my iPad. That's why I couldn't find it. There we go. That's a folder that I made. Done. So it's connected to that folder. So now this is the following step that you gotta do. You gotta go back to the browser. You gotta go back to the website. You gotta click user script. And this right here, you just gotta basically just select all of it. Select all of it. If you're on the iPhone, it's kind of complicated to select it properly and do it. But that's why I, I created those files. And I'll show you what are those little files in a few. So after that is done, just leave it like that. And your browser is going to be still selected. We got to go to settings now. And then we got to go to Safari. So we need to look for Safari. We go to Safari. And now this app user screen has an atom. We need to enable the atom inside of Safari. So we need to advance. Okay, make sure that the JavaScript is enabled. Go to advance. Well, I almost forgot. Go to advance and make sure the JavaScript is enabled. We need to have that enabled. Okay. I knew I was forgetting something, so the thing I remember let's see so now we gotta go to extension so after you enable JavaScript on advanced settings you gotta go to general and then you gotta go to extensions In extensions you gotta go to you're gonna see that you have a new option just in case you have you don't have any extension you're gonna see user script you gotta enable this so after that's enabled we go back to the browser and this right here we gotta select it again so now that this is selected, you're going to do the following. You're going to click on the extension here. You're going to click on user script. And now you're going to tap, tap to install. This is a script right here. It's going to be installed. You're going to click on install. Refresh. Just in case, install again. Now go back and you see it's installed now. So the way that you enable it, this needs to be highlighted. And now after that's highlighted, it's gonna be turned on. So now if you go back to Jutsu, the video that I was watching, and I refresh this here. Boom, you're able to see the dislike buttons again. So like I was saying before, uh, is you don't wanna do that exactly like that like I show you from the beginning you could also use the same file the same the file that I had is basically the same one from the website is this file right here it doesn't link to your account or anything like that it's just uh, look around the page to make sure it to show you uh, the dislike so I'm actually gonna have a folder just in case you want to do it that way and I'm gonna have this file there and the only thing that you got to do is like I did when you go to user script When you go to user script, you're gonna create a directory so you can find it faster. And then inside that directory, you're gonna put that file that I'm providing you guys. So it could make it a lot super easier. So you put that file in there and then you just gotta go. Then you just gotta go to your sentence here and make sure that you put, um, you see that when you see your sentence here make sure it's highlighted like this that's mean that it's on and you will be able to use it and after that just refresh the page of the youtube video you were watching and boom you get to go you're able to see the dislikes again so that was a quick tutorial it took me a while but um i hope you guys enjoy and once again thank you for the amazing support remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one